The market here in Surrey, BC and across most of the country has turned around very, very quickly. Actually, a whole lot faster than any of us in the industry were expecting. And today what I want to do is look at some actual sales that happened in the beginning or first quarter of the year and then sales that have happened since then. Because the turning point seemed to have been some time in March. But because this is the first video after the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board has released their statistics, that makes this the Surrey Report. So here is my amazing team with the most recent sales numbers for the city of Surrey. Looking at our detached market, we had 284 sales in the month of May. That is a 46% increase from the 194 sales we had in the same period last year. Our benchmark price is $1,627,400. That is up 2.4% month over month and down 11.7% year over year. We had 240 townhouse sales in May of 2023, slightly more than this time last year. Our benchmark price for townhouses is 870,600, and that is a 1.6% increase month over month, and a 7.3% decrease year over year. And in condos, benchmark price is around 550,000. Now that's a 4.7% decrease year over year, but it is a 2.7% increase month over month. Okay. Thanks team. Yeah, it looks like the numbers are showing that things are turning around and that's my goal here today is to show you exact comparables from what happened earlier in the year to what's happening now. And at the same time, I'd love to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you would like to stay up to date here on my market of Surrey and the Fraser Valley. And if you wouldn't mind clicking the like button, that would do a lot of good to help me get this information out to other people just like you who are thinking about either buying or selling here in the city of Surrey. So thank you so much for that. And now let's hop into these listings. Now I pulled up eight listings, four of them from kind of before the market took off and four of them from after that are almost exact comparables to the other type of property. So let's start down now. This is, uh, I don't know if you saw my investor low rise favorite buildings, but this is actually one of the complexes that is on that list. This was from Harvard Gardens down in South Surrey. Now this particular building is Elgin House. And you can see up here in the top corner that this property listed, well, originally it listed at 608, then it dropped to 599 and it ended up selling for 588. And it sold on January 30th of this year. Now, these are very common layouts down there, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it's about 850 square feet. I haven't seen any in there that are exactly 850 square feet, so I might be uh, wondering if that's exactly true. And the maintenance fee here that will give us a better idea of exactly how big this unit is was $383. So again, an extremely typical unit for the area. Just so you can see, I'm not showing you anything that's crazy here. I'll flip through the pictures and let you know that they are very, very similar units. Here's all the amenities, of course. Here's the unit itself. So they are usually this kind of long, kind of skinny living area with windows to the outside off of the living room. And then the bedrooms are actually back in here off of this kind of small corridor, beds and baths as well. So they're all very, very similar. This looked like a very, very clean unit at the time when it sold for 588, but jump ahead here until April 25th and the almost identical unit comes up at $619,000 and then sells over the asking price at 644. Again, it's a two bed, two bath. Let's see if we can see the square footage on this one. Now, this is why I say the other one might be off on the square footage. This is a 813 square foot unit, but the fee for maintenance, which is usually tied to the square footage, is actually just a slight bit larger. So I would expect that other unit was a very, very similar size to this one. Just so we can see that indeed they are comparable units. I'm going to flick through some pictures here for you and you can see that the layout is almost exactly identical. Also a very nice clean unit with bedrooms down off to one side. And this is exactly what I would expect if I were looking for a property in Harvard Gardens. So between January and the end of April, 
similar units, and I'm going to assume that they are actually the same square footage, given the information that I've kind of gathered here, very preliminary. Well, they ended up selling for a difference of about $56,000 in just a few months. But let me pop back here into another complex. Now, this is a complex that I personally own in. I have an investment property in this complex, and that is the Ridge at Bose Farm. Now, this property came on again. You'll notice the price reductions that happen here. The original price for this property when it came onto the market was six hundred and nineteen thousand dollars. They then dropped to six oh nine, and then they ended up selling for six hundred thousand dollars. And this was right at the beginning of March. It was a two bed, two bath unit, eight hundred and fifty five square feet. I own a unit almost identical to this one. Uh, let me just show you the pictures here. Now, this one is very basic. The other one that did sell sold for a little bit more, but this particular unit does look out onto the park, which is extremely desirable in this complex. So a very, very nice unit that sold for $600,000 just again a few months ago. Now, this is actually starting to get into the busier market, but it did sell for $600,000. And then this unit came onto the market at six forty nine. dollars Now, it did sell for under the asking price. It sold for six forty five. dollars But again, it's a two bed, two bath. This is only about a month or so later. And let's check out the size, 834 square feet. Now, this one was dolled up a little bit, but it's a very particular taste. So let me show you. I don't know if this goes for everybody. I don't know how into dark, maybe whatever that is, gray and blue crown molding people are. So it was dolled up a, a little bit, but definitely not to the tune of, let's call it $45,000. And when I showed this unit to my wife, uh, just because we have a very, very similar unit ourselves. Trust me, she was not really buying into this particular design. So it wasn't necessarily worth more to every buyer. So Bose in just a couple of months seems to have increased $45,000 as well. But now let me move you on to an example of a townhome. Now in the neighborhood of Sullivan, uh, there's a large complex there where Oakland's and Brooklyn's and a few other Gillis Walk, I believe, all share the big same amenity center. So I knew that this would be a great spot to find comparable properties. Again, this one is back in March, so it's not not that long ago, this property came on the market at $749 and sold for $745. It was a three-bed, two-bathroom townhouse. So if you're unfamiliar with this style of townhouse here in Surrey, uh, these will be bedrooms and bathrooms all on the top floor. The main living floor has no powder room or toilet or anything. And then the garage is underneath. And this unit was 1,368 square feet. And then just at the beginning of May, an extremely similar unit comes on at almost the same price. They came on at the asking price of $759 and change. And then they ended up selling for $830,000. So it did go into that bidding war scenario, which has become very prominent of late. Three bedrooms, again, two bathrooms. Now, this is Brooklyn, so it is the unit next door, sorry, the complex next door, but they are all built by the same guys, and they are very much exactly the same. And just to prove my point, your square footage here is 1,382 square feet. So in less than two months, this particular complex increased in value 85 thousand dollars but i know you are going to want an example of a detached home so here we go now if you're looking for an entry level detached home in the city of surrey there's a very good chance you're going to end up in the neighborhood of clayton it's a good spot in cloverdale family friendly very congested however really small lots with nicer kind of modern homes so this is a 2005 built four bed three and a half bath unit came on the market for 1.325 when it originally came on the market, they dropped the price down to 1.2. And then on January 15th of this year, they sold for 1.130. Now, I will note that this is a 2,755 square foot lot with a 2,334 two-story with basement. And that's going to be very important in this comparison because this property does tax assess about $20,000 less than this particular property here. Now you'll notice this property is just a few doors down on the same street. 
It came on the market at $1.399 and sold for more than the asking price, $11,000 more than the asking price in April. So that's the difference between middle of January and the beginning of April. Again, a four bed, three bath. Now it is a little bit bigger, about 200 square foot bigger, but the selling price difference between these two particular homes was $200,000. Remember only a $20,000 difference in their tax assessment, but a $200,000 difference in their sale price as a result of selling almost three months apart. So I wanna dig into this a little bit further. Let me go back to the last property and let's see what type of condition this property was in to see if they are indeed comparable. A very common kind of 2006 to 2010 kind of layout, uh, very typical with a kind of white kitchen. I mean, no nothing here is crazy. It looks like it's got the original kind of cheap laminate flooring but let's keep going it looks like a very nice clean and very common type of home for that area now this one does appear to have a second kitchen and a basement rental downstairs which is again extremely common for the area but now let's go back and compare it to the one that sold for two hundred thousand dollars more just two and a half or three months later and we're going to see exactly how it lines up. Look at that. Almost the identical same flooring, same paint. These are extremely, extremely comparable units. Even got the white kitchen. Like The difference here is the white countertops versus the black. And I'm eager to see as we go through these pictures. Here's the entry into the basement. So I would assume they do have a basement kitchen. And yes, indeed, it does look like there it is. There is the rental downstairs. So these are almost exactly comparable properties in condos, townhouses, and detached that are all selling for more now, which we expected. But as little as a $45,000 difference in condos and as much as a $200,000 difference between now and the beginning of the year in the detached sector. How long will this keep up? Well, none of us really no. Inflation numbers have come in high and we are expecting that there's a possibility that the Bank of Canada may start raising interest rates again as a result of those high inflation numbers, which could partially be fueled by the cost of real estate rising again. I'd be interested to know what you think of those properties down below in the comments. And please remember that if you need any help in local Surrey real estate, that you can always book a call with me right now using the link in the description below. And before you go, please remember to subscribe, click the like button, and we'll see you in a couple of days.